This video describes methods for downloading and installing the latest version of Stack Graphics Centurion called Stack Graphics 18. Stack Graphics 18 is a general purpose statistical analysis and data visualization program for Windows. It contains over 260 statistical procedures from simple bar charts and histograms through sophisticated statistical process control, design of experiments, and multivariate methods. Stack Graphics point and click interface makes it easy to use without extensive training. To set up Stack Graphics 18 for use, you need to go through three steps. In step one, you download the installation program from www.stackgraphics.com and install the software on your computer or in the case of the network edition, a shared disk. In step two, you register your email address at register.stackgraphics.com and in step three, you activate your copy of the program. This video will describe what's necessary to accomplish step one. Additional videos deal with steps two and three. You need to follow the setup and installation instructions in this video if you fall in one of various categories. You need to do it if you're going to install a trial copy of Stack Graphics 18 on your computer. You also need to go through setup and installation if you've purchased a single user license or if you're going to use an academic site license purchased by your institution. Administrators of multi-user network licenses also need to set up and install the program, although it's typically placed on a shared disk rather than their own computer. Finally, if you're a user who wishes to check out seats from a multi-user network license, you also need to go through the setup and installation process. Setup and installation is not required if you're going to be using a shared multi-user network license installed on a network server. Also, if you're going to use an enterprise-wide license, you don't need to follow the steps in this video. Before you install Stack Graphics 18, be sure you meet the following requirements. You'll need a computer running Windows XP or later. You'll also need at least one gigabyte of RAM, more if you intend to analyze large amounts of data. The program takes about 350 megabytes of space on the disk. And if you'll be analyzing big data, often containing millions of rows, a 64-bit processor will be required. To begin the setup process, you'll want to go to www.stackgraphics.com. The home page has four yellow buttons. Whether you want to install a 30-day trial or activate a serial number that you've purchased, push the button labeled Download Program. This will take you to a web page titled Download Center. In the bar at the left, you'll see links to various versions of our software. Click on the link labeled Stack Graphics Centurion 18. This brings you to a page with the links for downloading the various builds of Stack Graphics 18. You'll need to make a couple decisions. First off, you'll need to decide which language you wish to use. Stack Graphics 18 is available in English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. You'll also need to decide whether to install the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows on your computer, then you must download and install the 32-bit version of Stack Graphics. However, if you're running 64-bit Windows, you can install either the 32-bit or the 64-bit build of Stack Graphics 18. 
the advantage of the 32-bit build is that it's less expensive than the 64-bit build. It has all the same procedures and facilities, but it's limited in the amount of data it can analyze. If you expect to be analyzing more than about, let's say, 20 to 30,000 rows, then you'll need to download and install the 64-bit build of Stack Graphics 18. Clicking on the desired link begins the download process. It will download a file with a name similar to Stack Graphics Centurion English MSI. This is a standard Microsoft installation program. Depending upon your browser, when the download is complete, the install program may start by itself, or you may have to click on the downloaded file to run it. The installation program will then take you through a sequence of dialog boxes. The first dialog box shows you what program you're installing. The second dialog box displays the license agreement for Stack Graphics Centurion 18. Read through it, and if you agree with the terms, select the radio button labeled I agree and press next. The next dialog box is used to enter your name and the identity of the organization you're associated with. Enter the information in the two fields and press Next. The next dialog box indicates the location where the program will be installed. If you're installing it on your own computer, the default folder is usually fine. If you're a network administrator installing a multi-user network edition, select a location on a shared disk that all of your users have read access to. You can also indicate at the bottom whether the program should appear for all users of your computer or just for the current user. The next dialog box confirms that you want to begin installing the program. When the installation begins, you'll probably see a security warning from Windows. Be sure that the verified publisher displayed is either Stat Point Technologies Inc. or Stat Graphics Technologies Inc. This verifies that you've downloaded a legitimate, valid installation program. If one of those publishers is listed, go ahead and press yes. A dialog box with a progress bar will then appear and show you how the installation is proceeding. It should only take a couple minutes to install Stack Graphics 18 on your computer. Once the installation is complete, you'll see this final dialog box. Go ahead and press close. Once Stack Graphics 18 is installed in your computer, an icon similar to this will be shown on your desktop. It's then time to take the second step, registering your email address, which is the subject of a second video.